so here's a uh, closer look at this uh, claw thingy. So what are we looking at here? It's normal GoPro mount, clip straight in, yeah, and you can clip it on there and take it off as well. Um, bit of rubber on the inside, helps with the grip. It's got this odd front bit here. See how they clamp together. So pretty solid. It needs a bit of bit of strength to close that in. And yeah, and um, I think that's how we're going to be putting it up on our options. Alrighty. So uh, welcome. Let these people through. So here's how I've mounted the um, the claw flexible clampy and as you can see there very simple to use this way it faces me all I've got to do is as I'm riding spin around and I can record something else and away we go so it's very simple got this idea from um, Million Dollar Bogan he's very popular for using this thing I've just decided to clamp it on the bottom here but it can be clamped elsewhere it moves around a fair bit however you want to put it somewhere um, I'll wait till this light turns green and we'll see how much it actually bounces around on the video, yeah? Alright, so as I ride here, obviously I'm on a Dyna uh, Harley Davidson, there's a bit of vibration anyway. You can see there's a little bit of bounce, but not too much. Um, I'll pull up and I'll show you uh, another place where we could uh, mount it and then uh, we'll reverse the footage. So, I'm using the GoPro Hero 3, just an old one that I've mounted there because I don't really use that video anymore. Um, I'm using the uh, Hero 5 on my face mask. Um, which is going to give us a better picture anyway. Alrighty, those of you that are new to the channel, welcome along. Those of you that are first timers, also uh, welcome along and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys, we're looking for hit that thousand mark. Um, if we hit that thousand, mask, uh, thousand mark, I will um, then I suppose start filming and showing my face. Because um, then I know obviously there's more people that are interested in my stuff. However, I am close to the 600 mark now, which is awesome. I uh, really appreciate the support you guys give. And uh, let's see how we go with this thing and how we're going to mount it. I'm just going to find some traffic stop somewhere and I'll um, I'll give it a go, eh? By the way, this thing was only uh, $25 on eBay. And um, it looks like exactly like the GoPro original, so we'll give that a run. So, all right, so I've decided to pull up here just because I can and what I want to do is show you um, some of the places that we can do to mount this. So obviously there's a clear gap in there and that will mount that way, which is a positive. Um, I could quite easily mount it on this side and go that way, give you a look at the way the um, exhaust runs and whatever, that's pretty good angle. Um, flip that upside down and fill me that way um, clamp onto the front can I? no, I don't think it opens up wide enough oh yes it does, there you go so clamp onto the front and try and get myself a bit of an angle from there it's probably not going to work the best because that's going to touch but you know, you know, you get the idea, you just got to fiddle around with it make it work Maybe not off the forks, but it will off the front here. So there's a couple of options to mount this. And what I'll do now is I'll mount it on the front there. I'll swap the cameras over. And uh, we'll go for a ride and we'll get some footage as we run, eh?
is uh, in relation to the uh, flex hall clamp GoPro adjustable thingy me jiggy. Uh, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button, yeah? I'm now going to play that game where I'm pretend to be one of those fake motor bloggers, you know, who runs his bike down on empty uh, deliberately for no reason whatsoever. So, um, let's do that, yeah?